Not bad for a Ford, it started. Terrible intro, what was I thinking? That was a terrible intro. But hey guys, we're back. Another episode of the Free Experience. This is my third time going out of the stance loss and trying to film a video for you guys because you guys make this channel possible. And we're almost at 2,000 subscribers and I, my mind's blown. Uh, I'm happy and I'm thankful for you guys. And I just wanna say that if you guys have any questions of whether to go fishing or where, when, how, and what to use, by all means, hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat. Um, I actually have quite a few of you guys DM me and actually just say, hey, what's up? And it's nice to get along and get to know you guys personally because, you know, I'm a small channel and I love that. And unlike John B. Lunkers, all those big name guys and stuff, I know I'm missing quite a lot, uh, they don't get to know their subscribers one on one. And I have a lot of subscribers actually talk to me and text me daily and I absolutely adore that. I almost consider you guys friends. Well, I consider you guys internet friends. Um, I got guys from Ohio, you know who you are, Brock, and he has my Snapchat and we talk and he asks me and shows me stuff and it's, and it's amazing to have a connection with a subscriber like that. And there's others, of course, here in California that uh, talk to me a lot about you know where to go what to do bank fishing boat fishing river fishing all that stuff And I spill the beans on everything and I love that So if you guys ever need to ask me any questions or just want to talk to me and get to know me and I get to know you It's it's wonderful. I love it. So if you guys want to do that, of course My uh, Instagram is the name of the channel the fray experience spelled exactly the same and then um, <laughs> My snapchat is actually I made this in the seventh grade. So don't really judge me it's a, it's AJ Spicy Wiener, but Wiener is spelled Wiener, and I'll I'll leave that down in the description if you guys want to add me and get to know me and just see my life when I'm not filming. But when I'm not filming, I'm fishing, and when I'm filming, I am fishing. So basically, my whole Snapchat is just filled with me fishing and nothing else. So we're heading to the Stanislaus right now, same setup as before, and hopefully, I have the videos from last time to really show you guys what the conditions have been. I know what you guys are thinking, Tyler. It's it's almost February. Why are you in a tank top? Because it's California. You know, uh, shoot, it was just raining when I went to first shoot the video for you guys, and now it's not raining. And then another time I went and it wasn't raining and it was cold, we were in sweatshirts, and now I'm in a tank top and shorts heading to the river to fish with for you guys. So, same setup as before, and let's get out there and see if we can slay some squaws. <laughs> basically on the Stanislaus, I live in Riverbank. I'm basically close to everything. Tuolumne, Stanislaus, every river, every lake, I'm super close to. And I just ran a stop sign. <laughs> YouTuber life. I'm so desperate to catch a fish that I have literally night crawlers right there. That's how determined I am. They're desperate, I should say, not even determined. I tried to fly last time, I tried bass fishing, tried striper fishing, and all that didn't work. So now we're going back to square one to chase some squawfish. So let's get at her. Let's lock the forward. Let's get at it. All right, so we made this spot and I really, oh, the water's dirty again. Dang. So the first video I shot, water was super clear. Second video, the water was dirtier than this. So it's getting a little bit cleaner. A little bit so I'm sitting up here up on top of the levee right now kind of looking down to see if I can spot any fish and it looks like there's one right there I have multiple setups I was kind of hoping the water would be clear so I could um, put on a Carolina rig and flip at the suckers with a night crawler but now with it being dirty like this this may not work oh well we're gonna give it a try though because you know you know third tries to charm that's what they always say oh god this is gonna be terrible to get down Looks like there's actually just a little bit of a slide here last time too. This is all coming undone with, you know, with all the rain we're getting here in California. It's a bit of a change for once. I'm used to it being, you know, January. Oh, it's actually almost February too. I'm so used to it being already, you know, typical California weather because everyone who's not from California thinks everyone in California shreds the gnar on a skateboard or more than likely hits the gnar gnar on some waves, bro. So let's just chillax real fast, make some casts and catch some bass. 
And I actually have a pretty decent sized leader now. So without ado, let's make the first cast. And it's not even gonna be a cast, all it's gonna be a flip to the That's yes. Goals. That's exactly where we wanted to be. Right there, first cast in the grass. It's got really quiet all of a sudden. I'm stalking fish now. You know, I'm not on the on the flats going after redfish right now, so I really don't want that bobber to make a lot of noise, but I'll pop it every now and again. I don't like this. I do not like this. That definitely is a river rat hole. I gotta be really careful. Ooh, almost slipped. Gotta be real careful. Bro. Bro. We're talking some high tech stuff right there, guys. Hey, is that the. So, those are the shoes from uh, the self tightening Nikes? I might want to cop me a pair of those. How am I going to get over this? If you guys didn't know, I'm not nimble whatsoever. As things start falling. Oh, no! I don't want to get hung up on that stick. Let's just be careful. Hey, I just went up underneath it. Oh, boy. We caught a little bit of that stuff. Hey. Does anybody want a little creepy doll right here for you? We have a nice two by six right here. Hopefully I can walk out on that. There's no nails on it. Hmm. Oh boy, this is starting to break. Okay, let's just start walking on a dead trees and stuff piled up on top of each other. Tyler, great idea. And we're here. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Water super low. Let's get up over there. Quickly. Underneath me, I believe. I've lost him in the swirl current right here, so I'm just gonna flip up in front. I hope the guy didn't just spook him. I think I spoke I spoked him. When I'm fishing for these guys, there's one right there. I think it might have been him. I like to watch them come up and actually eat the bait and mouth it because sometimes they'll just just touch just a little bit. Because they are a bottom feeder. But they don't have whiskers or anything. They have a really hard head though, which is absolutely insane. Like if you take a like if you tap them on the head, it sounds hollow, but it's really solid. I don't know how that really doesn't really help out, doesn't really explain. But they are Insane. I love them. They fight hard. Especially on light tackle. The six pound test. Medium light spinning rod right here. Right there. Oh my god, I wish I was recording, but I wasn't. He uh, hit that rock right there. They like to, they get a lot of parasites on them, so they like to um, kind of brush up on things. You, more than likely, when you see them, they're honestly, you spot them first by them. Um, flashing themselves which when I mean flashing I mean bumping up on rocks wood they're trying to knock off parasites because if you catch one you'll know that they have a lot of parasites on them they'll have like little white spots or um, scuffs on them and everything from being a bottom feeder and I just saw him he was on this rock right here which I thought was not an actual tire but he almost came flying out of the water when he when he um when he was rubbing and I bet you if the sun was out right now we'd see a lot of them but it's not I got a late start to today this feels a little funky I want to set the hook but I'm not 100% sure I have one it's a little funky right now because I'm lifting up my weight's moving but got him Oh god, I was like, my weight's moving, but my bait isn't. And right there, guys, we have a California, sorry, Sacramento sucker. And how am I gonna land him? Oh my god, I almost fell. It's not a bad one either. I'll take him. 
These guys are full of piss and vinegar, guys. These guys fight. They can fight like a largemouth. They can fight like a striper where they just pull, pull, pull. But right now, this one's flopping around like a, kind of like a trout. But I'm trying to keep him out of the grass. And he is a nice size one. That's probably about, I would say, 16 inches. Maybe more. I can't right quite tell. This is going to be a little interesting how I'm going to get this fish in. And again, circle hook right there saved the day. How am I going to do this? I have to keep pressure on the fish because I don't want him to go. If you keep the head up of this fish, like I'm doing right there, he doesn't have, he can't get any leverage on you. But as soon as you let him get his head down, he'll turn into a, a, a psycho freak and run and try to get you, hang you up or try to break your line. But these guys are beautiful. People call them nuisances. I don't consider them any fish nuisance because these are, uh, you know, a native species to California along with squawfish. People want to kill squawfish and everything. Oh boy, they want to kill squawfish and everything because they're a non-native species. But honestly, like largemouth aren't a native species. Florida strain largemouth aren't. How am I going to do this? Okay, we're going to have to do something about this because this six pound test will not hold up to this. I'm going to have to let him run. I'm going to let him run so he gets out away from that stick. Keeping pressure on him though so it does not come off. That circle hook should keep him pinned. It's back into the current now. I gotta run. Still hung up on that. Come on, 7 2 rod. There we go, we got him. So, my rod of choice, I was telling you guys, is a 7 2 medium light Enigma rod right here. This is their Phantom series. And they've been a nice sponsor to me for the last, I think we're going on two years now. Haven't had any complaints with their rod. Let's land this beast. I wouldn't even call it a beast. This is a nice fish though. And just like this. I know what you guys are gonna say, Tyler, you're letting them flop and stuff, but these are a hardy fish. These are a lot like a carp. Don't know if they're in the same. Oh wow, he is there's six, 12, about I'd say he's probably oh wow, he's actually maybe bigger than 16. But see, like I was telling you guys, hard head. Listen to this. Listen to that. Hard head right there. And he is hooked good with that circle hook. Wasn't coming out. Let's examine his mouth. Feelers. It's fat. Let's go and see if it's a male. It's a female. Look at this, guys. The ultimate river fish right here. No natural predators could eat this besides a striper. And we're talking big striper. These guys take over rivers and lakes because they have no natural predators. But, you know, I'm perfectly fine with these fish. Like I was telling you guys. I, have a, I don't have a quarrel with them at all. I love them. They're fun fish to catch. And of course, thanks to this fish right here, guys, three days of fishing pays off right here. Let's see if we get another one. I'm not going to spend too much time out here. But I'm going to get a picture because, you know, I did this for you guys, 100%. He's bleeding, yes, but he's all right. They're a lot like a, um, kind of like a carp. They have the mouth of a carp, of course. But, um... They bleed. They have a really soft mouth, but yet a really hard head and really armored plated body. Oh god, here we go. It's making it all worth it right here, guys. Again, beautiful fish. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, you guys can. How does Snapchat work? We gotta go up, I think. No, apparently not. I don't even know how you work Snapchat. Uh, do we go up this way and up? No. Do we go? Oh, we gotta go here. So there's my Snapchat, AJ Spicy Wiener, but Wiener is spelt W-E-I-N-E-R because it was already taken. But we're going to go ahead and let this fish go, guys. Was sight fishing for this fish for such a long time, and uh, he's going to go. I'm going to let him rejuvenate. I'm going to try to rejuvenate him, but he's just going to go, and I'm not going to hold him off. And there he goes. Like I was telling you guys, they're a really hardy fish. I fought that fish for, I'd say, around maybe two to three minutes, and he just went off just like that. And another thing is, guys, rate my mullet. Rate the mullet. Do you guys like the mullet? If you don't like the mullet, let me know. Another thing is, flare. Flare's going to mullet. And I want you guys to know that I have had a mullet for the last three years, but I kind of let it all grow out, and I cut it once a year to really get that mullet back. I've had it first, so I don't want you guys any, you know, leaving comments saying, Tyler, why are you copping in a flare? I hate flare. I don't hate him as a YouTuber, as a fisherman. I hate him because of his technique of fishing. That goes against everything I just said, but thank you guys for tuning in, and we're going to see if we can catch another one. This means a lot for you guys to, you know, be active in my community of fishing and my channel, leaving comments and voting 
and that fish just made this video possible. Three days of fishing, guys, in the wind, the rain, and now beautiful, somewhat windy California on the Stanislaus River, guys. So again, thank you. Let's see if we can catch another one. But again, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Fray Experience. And I did this video strictly for you guys because I let you guys decide my next video. I let you guys basically vote to what you wanted. And this is what you guys wanted. Well, most of you. And this is what you guys got. This took me three days to film this video. And I'm happy that I finally could edit this video and make you guys happy. So if you guys want to see more of this, just let me know. Leave a comment and always like and subscribe my videos, guys. It means a lot. And let's hope, you know, I, have a, I actually have a big, big announcement going on. And as before, you guys turn away from this video. I want to say thank you. And I have an announcement to make. Um, make sure everything's in my pocket before I go. Okay. Um, I'm going to start coming out with a series called The Freya Sode. Oh, God which is actually going to be my friends and I. We all have boats now. You know, so it's, there's going to be three boats, teams of two, and what we're going to do is we're going to be holding a tournament. We're going to try to go twice a month or once a month to a lake, and we all have GoPros, so there's going to be multiple angles, and you guys will get to see what happens on all the other boats. And I believe the first one's going to be at Tolik, and then we're all going to get together and we're going to talk about where we want to go next. And I have basically any lake within an hour to two hour drive, more likely two hour drive, is on the list. I have about I have about uh, 18 lakes on the list of um, where we're going to fish. And then of course the TOC, which we're all going to obviously qualify for, is going to be either um, Clear Lake, Boards Bar, or Lake Sonoma. That's what we all came together for. So um, I hope you guys are going to be excited to see that and just give the first Freya Sode a look because I'm going to give it... Honestly, my level, I'm going to give it 100% editing skills into this, so it's going to be the best video I will make to date. And I hope you guys give it a shot because it's going to have some dope B-roll, it's going to have some skits, some laughs, but more importantly, it's going to be an intense video of tournament fishing. Um, I know what you guys are gonna, may think, like, Tyler, you may have an unfair advantage, and I believe I do have an unfair advantage, so... And that's not me being cocky, that's, me, that's just me being real. I have a lot more time on the water than these guys. So to kind of level that out, they may get a day of pre-fishing where I may not. Or we're going to stick to lakes where I don't fish. Like I have Pedro and McClure on the list. But that's because they wanted it. I necessarily didn't want that because I feel like I have an unfair advantage at, the, at those lakes. But hey buddy, please don't come after me. I hate squirrels. But I would just like for you guys to uh, give a Freya Sode. A look see and then if it doesn't do good then I guess we won't do it this is all up to you guys to make sure to smash that like button on those videos coming up and, and enjoy my videos too so I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned I'm a little winded to another episode of the Fray experience oh my god that's a big one it's like a cat all right guys and one more thing before this video ends is if you guys want to start seeing some tank videos I have a I have this tank right here. I got an Oscar, and then I got a, an electric Amazon catfish, which has shocked me six times when I redesigned the tank. Marble biker, and then on the divider side, unfortunately, I have a, uh, a pike cichlid, which he's behind there, and then I have a Jack Dempsey right there. So, I have some leftover night crawlers, so I think we're going to feed the Oscar. I actually raised him from a fry. I used to have his mother, but um, she ended up passing away, and he was the only fry that survived, but... He's super cool. I hand feed him all the time. Let's get a big enough one so he don't take my finger off. Pretty cool. Super cool. And then I'll just drop one in there and he'll come and eat that. Actually, maybe he'll come take it off my finger. Go get it. Get it. There he goes. And I think the Jack Dempsey's hungry, which I have to remove these. Uh-oh. I have another one, buddy. Um, I'll set those right there. He'll try to eat them through the glass. It's pretty funny. So he's still trying for it. Here, buddy. Here, get up that one. He missed it. Um, he's hungry. He might. I, yeah, he's pretty good about eating out of my hand. So actually, he won't do it with the camera right there with me hovering over him. But he'll come eat it. Come on, here. Come on, bud. 
Come on. Come on, there you go. Come on, get it, get it, there you go. And then the pike cichlid's gonna try to take it from him, which happens almost all the time. So we have to include the pike cichlid. Get it, buddy, right there, right there, come on. There you go. Oh, the marble biker, which I actually hand feed him, hand feed him. I'll go down there and actually hand feed him. He's pretty good about it. Nope, not gonna do it. Wow, bud. He won't do it on camera. I'll, I'll feed the Oscar hand feed him, though. No? Really? None of you guys want to hand feed on camera? Here. Nope, nope, nope. Can't leave night crawlers in there. I'll try to feed the catfish. She's shocked, so I gotta be real careful. Come on. You wanna, you wanna try it? No? No? Here, take it. I really don't want to get shocked by her. I've been zapped a couple times by her, and it does not feel good. We'll go and knock those in there. We'll come get them. Right in front of his face? No? Yeah, he'll get them. I think it'd be kind of cool to get into that tank business kind of channel, but I'm primarily into fishing. But uh, leave a comment if you guys want to see some tank videos, you know? You know, do some feedings and stuff, because I feed him. The Oscar will eat just about anything. Um, I feed him goldfish, that kind of stuff. Live fish, of course, that goes along with goldfish. And uh, night crawlers he loves, and then some fillets and stuff every now and then. But the fun one to feed is actually when I feed him crawdads, because the marbled biker, sorry, the Bashir, actually uh, will try to eat them whole and fight them and stuff. But the best one by far is to feed the crawdads to is the pike cichlid. He actually will tear them apart. He goes at them like a kind of like a prana, but I once put a goby in there that I caught on the on the stance loss and I ended up dying and I dropped him in there. No one would eat him, but the catfish comes over and just deep throats it. So again, thank you guys for tuning in this episode of the free experience. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get at the next video.